Well, the New South Wales health crisis, as we've been discussing, is worsening and the state's paramedics have escalated their industrial action ahead of voting day on Saturday. They say they're sick and tired of being ignored. Well, joining me now is ABA New South Wales, that's Australian, uh, the Ambulance Association New South Wales delegate and paramedic Brett Simpson. Brett, thanks for joining me. As a paramedic, how heartbreaking is it to turn up too late to someone's home when their medical condition has deteriorated to the point where they're fighting for their life? Yeah, look, it's it's really heartbreaking um, and it can be incredibly distressing, uh, not only for the patient and their family members, but it does take a toll on, on paramedics as well. Um, I've been a paramedic for 14 years and I can tell you I've been in this situation uh, countless times uh, over that, that time period. Um, I guess what it means for us is sometimes uh, patients are sicker um, and then, you know, when they're not getting that treatment on time, it can mean their hospital visits and admissions are longer and more complex and ultimately more costly for the health system. Look, what in your view is the actual issue here? Is it that there's not enough paramedics? Is it that there aren't enough physical ambulances? Or is it that the patients aren't being admitted fast enough at hospitals and so, you know, the, there's a backlog of ambulance there ambulances there that can't get to more urgent cases? Look, unfortunately, it's not just one, one issue. I wish it was just one issue. It would be much, much simpler to fix. Um, what we're seeing is a, a multitude of factors in New South Wales. We're seeing a lack of paramedics uh, and vehicles. Like you said, uh, we've got some of the lowest paramedic to population ratios in the country. Um, but specifically a lot in regional areas of New South Wales, they don't have a lot of access to uh, a lot of specialist uh, paramedics like we do in metropolitan Sydney, Wollongong and Newcastle. So in regional New South Wales, having some of those extra resources are really important. Some of those paramedics uh, spend a very long time specialising in skills. That means that patients can stay at home. Our extended care paramedics can perform some very complex procedures to yeah. prevent people having to go to emergency in the first place.